All right, let's check out these valve seats. So they look good, they look really good. Um, there's no pitting, no nothing. I'll get a close up here. So you can see there really isn't any damage to these at all. So that's good news. Um, let's check out the valves. All right, so I got the valves right here and these look, these look like they're in pretty good shape too. Um, there isn't much cupping, you know, where it's cupped out. Hold on, I'll get a close up. There isn't much cupping or anything really. Uh, not much damage that I can see. So, um, there's just a bunch of gunk and stuff on them like this one. You know, I got to get them cleaned up here. So, I'm going to get this stuff all cleaned up. And um, the next step I want to do is I want to deck the block. So, I got a bunch of sandpaper. We're going to lay on a piece of glass. And we're going to get this thing perfectly flat. It's already pretty flat, but we're going to do better. All right, so we need to get the head flat. Basically, uh, I got a straight edge here and a feeler gauge. So the spec for this is, the distortion is 0.012 inches to 0.040 inches. And basically, you take a feeler gauge and see where it slides under. It's sliding under right there. It's not over here, you know. It's not flat, uh, perfectly flat. You can see it slides there. It slides there. It's all over the place. So basically, check it multiple spots and uh, we're gonna sand this thing flat. All right, so I went down to Home Depot and got some sheets of uh, wet and dry sandpaper. So this is two 80s, two 150s, and two 220 grit sheets. I got the two 80s right here taped down to this thick piece of glass on a towel on top of cardboard so it doesn't shatter. And we're gonna slide this thing back and forth with some water on here. I don't know how well the tape's gonna hold. Hopefully it gets the job done. After that, we're going to flip it over and finish it off with uh, two 220 grit sheets. All right, guys, we're going to have to take the head to the machine shop because when I took it apart, uh, some of the valve guides were starting to crack and the valves are like wonky in there. So I'm going to show you all what I'm talking about. All right, guys, so you can see the little spider cracks all the way around the uh, valve guide right there. I really don't like the looks of that. And I'll show you how sloppy the valves are. Here's the exhaust valve. You can see the play in it. Yeah, well, it's going to come out that far, but there's play in it. You're not going to be able to see it on camera that well, but, you know, if I pull it out more, you can see it. It's it's wobbly, so I don't like that at all, but it's a bit wobbly in there, so the valve guide's probably worn out. He's probably going to want all new valve springs, um, you know, go through the whole head, so we're going to see what he wants to do. <sighs> okay, guys, so it looks great after we decked it down with that 150 grit and came back with that 220 grit and sanded on that glass plate but basically it's within two thousandths of an inch warpage you know this thing is flat as flat as gonna be so basically we got all new valves exhaust intake intake exhaust went down to the machine shop got them to recut the valve seats so you know they're all cut uh came back and lapped all these valves in got new valve guides at the machine shop so you know they're under the valves four new valve guides this thing is completely redone. So let's check out the other side. All right, so we got all new valve springs, all new valve keepers. We got new valve seat things here. And then we got all new valve stem seals. So this thing should be good to go for a very long time. We just gotta put this thing back on the engine. Let's go check out the engine. Now we gotta put the head on and they want the head um, torqued to 130 foot pounds in like three stages. Let's get it guys. All right, so I'm putting this side out right here. You can see it's got this part here and it's got all these edges and stuff and it looks like it'll seal better uh, against the sleeves, you know, right here. There's nothing in here. So I'm going to put it like this.
All right, guys, that's it for the video. That's how you rebuild one of these Yammar diesel tractor engine heads. Full video in the comments and description below for the full video of this thing running and totally rebuilt. I'll check y'all out later. Later.